Today's project, how to build an ammeter using neodymium magnets and some wire. And can we measure the amount of electrical current running through a wire? We're using two hoops of magnet wire wrapped around a 3D printed Helmholtz coil holder. We have a simple compass, a pair of small cylinder magnets sandwiched on a length of thread, a scrap of aluminum, and a DC power supply from an old computer. These Helmholtz coils are three inches in diameter. They are mounted one radius apart, or one and a half inches. We take a length of 24 gauge magnet wire and wrap it around the first coil, clockwise as viewed here. We chose 24 turns of this wire. Nope, magnet wire isn't a magnet. It's regular copper wire, but with a thin enamel insulation. We wind the same wire another 24 turns around the second coil in the same direction. Let's walk around this simple circuit. From the 12 volt source, the current goes through one or more resistors. We choose the resistor to set the current to some known value. It then goes through the coils and back to ground. For the first test, we chose a 100 ohm resistor and see the compass swing nearly 75 degrees. 75 degrees? Almost. With a 220 ohm resistor, the compass swings just shy of 60 degrees. 470 ohm resistor. With a 470 ohm resistor, the compass swings just over 30 degrees. Oh. Okay, so far so good. But where are the magnets? Well, we'll replace the compass with a compass made out of magnets. These two cylinder magnets are placed on a string with the magnetic force clamping the string between them. The north pole of this combined magnet points north, off to the right in this view. To reduce how much the magnets wobble, we add an aluminum plate to dampen the motion. Any motion by the magnets induces currents in the aluminum, which act to slow it down. Bump it. Still bobbles around a little bit, but the motion back and forth damps out pretty quickly. Now we try it again with the hanging magnets. Just like the compass test, the 100 ohm resistor swings the magnets the most. And off. The 200 ohm resistor, a bit less. The 470 ohm resistor, even less. For a final test, we hooked up all three resistors in series, summing up to 790 ohms of resistance. The compass swings the least with this lower current. The greater the current through the wire, the more the magnets turn. With the coils off, 
Earth's ambient magnetic field runs in a north-south direction. An analysis of the coils with current running through it show that at the middle of the coils, the field runs in an east-west direction. In our device, the magnets see a magnetic field that's the sum of both Earth's field and the one created by the current in the coils. The result is angled, as shown here. Click the link in the description for a more in-depth look at this project. Thanks for watching.